Do you want to work as an orthopedic surgeon in Japan? Hi, I'm Dr. K from Med Insider Japan. I'm a native Japanese graduated from a European med school. I'm sharing information for foreign doctors who want to work in Japan. Today, I'd like to tell you what it is like to work as an orthopedic surgeon in Japan. I worked in an orthopedic team as a junior resident for one month. I'd like to share my thought and experiences with this specialty. My hospital is a city hospital located in the countryside of Japan. It has 300 beds in total, and usually 20 to 30 orthopedic patients are hospitalized. My team is composed of 10 members, four specialists, one senior resident, two junior residents, and three part-time surgeons. Every morning, we start with a meeting at 8.15. Here, we share information about those patients who require immediate attention, those who are recently hospitalized, or the surgeries of the day. After the meeting, which usually takes about 50 minutes, the team is divided into four places in the hospital, the operating room, the ward, the emergency department, and the outpatient department. In the operating room, we had one to two operations every day, which added up to 24 surgeries in one month. About half of them were fracture cases, such as femoral fractures, tibial fracture, patella fracture, etc. In most cases, we did a surgery called open reduction and internal fixation. Open reduction means a surgeon makes an incision to realign the bone, and internal fixation means the bones are held together with tools like metal pins, plates, rods, or screws. Each surgery takes about two hours. I think the most exciting part of orthopedics is that they use a variety of surgical instruments like Bendini from Nuvasiv, Gamma 3 from Stryker, Atune from Depu Synths, Opmi Pentero from Zace. Also, I found it interesting that, because these instruments are complicated to use, technical staff from these companies join surgeries and help surgeons to use them on the spot. In the ward, inpatients are hospitalized. Here, we spend a lot of time on post-operative management to prevent complications of surgeries. For example, bleeding and infection of the surgical wound, DVT, and perineal nerve paralysis. The most important is to monitor the vital signs, pulse rate, blood pressure, body temperature, and respiration rate. Wound care is important too. We check signs of infection, change the dressing, and remove stitches when the wound heals. Drain management is also important. We check the amount and color of the fluid in the drain and remove it when the fluid goes away. We prescribe drugs according to the condition of patients and write everything down in the medical record. In the emergency department, we deal with the ambulance. In our hospital, there are no emergency medicine doctors, so the doctors from other specialties cooperate to handle emergency cases. We have one or two orthopedic cases per day, and they are mostly trauma patients. Before the patient arrives, EMS gives us a phone call with information about the patient, like age, sex, mechanism of injury, and vital signs. If we decide to accept the patient, we gather personnel, assure resources are available, and prepare for anticipated procedures. Once the patient arrives, we do the primary and secondary survey with the necessary treatment. If the condition doesn't require hospitalization, the patient can be sent home after treatment. If the injury of the patient is beyond the management capacity of the hospital, he or she needs to be transferred to another hospital. When I was working, a patient went into cardiac arrest and code blue was called. 20 to 30 doctors gathered in the emergency room and started CPR. It was a very stressful situation. The outpatient department is a place to diagnose or treat those patients who do not require hospitalization. I didn't have much chance to work in this department, but an average of 45 orthopedic patients visited this department every day, and mainly the specialists and senior residents treated them. If you love surgical procedures, I think orthopedics is a good specialty for you. We did a lot of nailing, drilling, cutting, suturing, etc. It takes at least six years to become an orthopedic specialist in Japan, two years in junior residency, and four years in senior residency. At the end of the residency program, you need to pass an exam. Also, you need to publish at least one paper and do one presentation at a medical conference. In Japan, the average salary of orthopedic surgeons is 15,480,000 yen per year.
It's a bit higher compared to the average salary of a doctor in Japan, which is 14,560,000 yen per year. Working hours can be different from hospital to hospital. I usually worked from 8.15 till 17.15 on weekdays and worked until noon on Saturdays. But the specialists and senior residents might be working a bit longer. If you are interested in working in Japan, check out my How to Get Medical Residency in Japan videos. Thanks for watching. I'm going to upload more videos. If you thought it was helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you.